this video introduces commonly used primary data types, standard naming variables, and format specifiers. This time, I'm writing the first line of the code that is pound sign include studio.io.h with an angular bracket. This says that I'm going to use some functionalities of studio library such as printf and scanf function. Data types in C constitute the semantics and characteristics of storage of data elements. Data types also determine the types of operations or methods of processing of data elements. In this video, I will work with basic types that are classified into integer types and floating point types. Int is a keyword stands for integer, and integers are whole numbers that can have both zero, positive, and negative values. Next is the variable. And I'm writing here year, and that is a variable. And we can think of a variable, a container, or a sterile area that our programs can manipulate. Variable year has specific type, and that is integer, meaning all the possible values that year may contain are whole numbers. Rules for naming a variable A variable name can only have letters, both uppercase and lowercase letters, or may contain digits and underscore. The first letter of a variable should be either a letter or an underscore. There is no rule on how long a variable name can be. However, you may run into problems in some compilers if the variable name is longer than 31 characters. This time I have now int year as my variable declaration and variable should be declared in the C program before to use. And memory space is not allocated for a variable while declaration, and it happens only on variable definition. This time, I'm assigning a value of 1 to a variable year, and this is what we call variable initialization. Next data type is char. Keyword char is used for declaring character type variables. It could be uppercase or lowercase letter or a symbol. Char is also an integer type because in ASCII code, for example, the uppercase letter A in binary is 01000001. Only the matter is its appearance is not a digit. And in initializing character, it must enclose by a single code. And in every initialization or variable declaration must terminate it by a semicolon. Next data type is float. And float here are used to hold real numbers or numbers with a decimal point. So I have here a uh, variable initialization float grid is equal 1.25. And the variable holds 1.25 and that is float. Printf function tells C to perform an action to print a statement within double quotes. I'm inserting here present %d. Present %d is a format string or a specifier that is used to a type int or integer. And in printf function, it is used to give a heads up to the compiler what type of output to expect. I'm inserting here percent %c and this percent %c is a format string or a specifier to call for a type character and to display the value of variable block during runtime. Comma here is a separator. This separates the arguments in the variable for each format string. Present D call for a type int or integer and I'm going to copy this variable here and paste it here. Present C call for a type character and I'm going to copy this variable block which have the initialized value and that is uppercase letter C and paste it here. Again, I'm writing another statement using printf function and I'm writing here I got present f in computer programming 1.
present app call for a type float and I'm going to copy this variable grade which have the initialized value and that is 1.25 and paste it here and semicolon because it is a statement terminator and each individual statement must be ended with a semicolon the last line will be return and zero because main here is defined to return integer this time let's test our program just press f11 to compile and run As you notice here, we only have one line of statement and that is our output. I am first year block C. I got 1.250000 in computer programming 1. This time, I'm inserting backlash N and that is escape sequence to create another line. Okay, and that is the result of backlash N. The size of float is 8 bytes, thus give us here 6 decimal places. To make this data accurately, I'm going to define its decimal places into 2 by inserting 0.2 before present. And let's see how it works. Okay, so we have here, I got 1.25 in computer programming 1. Present D calling for a type integer and this present D is referring to variable year which have the initialized value of 1. So this is the output of printf function and later on we will perform scanf function and that is another functionality of stdio.h. This part of the body of main function is what we call variable initialization because each variable is the assigned value. This time I'm going to delete each value of the variable and we will perform not only output functions but also input function wherein this program will instruct us to input values during runtime. I'm inserting here a print app of function to print input your year level within double code and this also serve as the instruction for the user to input values. I'm writing here a scanf function and this is also one of the functionalities of stdio.h. This scanf function are used to take input from the user respectively or specifically to read the value input by the user. Present D is a heads up to a scanf function to read only integer and that is whole number and to pass or store the value to address of year variable. The ampersand symbol in C programming language is what we call the address of operator and we use address while using the scanf function. Again, I'm writing printf function and to print the statement, what is your block? This block refers to the sections of the student. It could be A, B, R, C, and so on. Present C in scanf function reads the character input by the user and pass or store the value to variable block that holds the address. Again, I'm writing another printf function to instruct the user to input values to answer the question, what is your grade in computer programming 1? Present F in scanf function reads the value input by the user, specifically a number with a decimal point, and pass or store the value to variable grades that hold the address. Let's see how it works. Just press F11 to compile and run. In this first line, it is expected to input whole number because we use percent %d in scanf function. And in this line, a character because we use percent %c. And in this line, instruct the user to input grade in computer programming. 
and in the last two line of printf function replaces all format strings with the values stored in each corresponding variables. Says I am first year block C I got 1.25 in computer programming one. Next I will introduce to you long long int. If you need to use a large number, you can use a type specifier long. And here I'm writing long long int. And my variable is phone. This will hold the 11 digits of a mobile number. The format specifier to call for a type long long int is present LLD or we can also use present LLI. This time I'm using present LLD to call for a type long long int. And I'm copying this variable phone and paste it here. Okay, and that's it. Present D and present I are just the same. These are format string used to call for a type integer and that is a whole number. This is also the same with present LLD and present LLI. This is used to call for a type long long int. And let's see how it works. And my last three line here says I am first year block B. I got 1.25 in computer programming when you can call me in this number 0990452132. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you next episode. Yeah.